Flames come forth. Fireball! It's over. Take <laughs> Mila, farewell. Take Burn. Take protection. Take Now, wind blade, Burn. This is the power of Maxwell. Took you long enough. I didn't expect to see Mila with you. So, you've made up your mind. Yeah, I'm going with Mila. Whoa, you're quite the flip-flopper. I thought you regretted getting involved. True, but I've made my decision to help her and I'm sticking to it. Is that right? Alvin, thanks for all your help. Oh. I almost forgot. We still need to pay you. Ah, uh, yes. My fee. Well, I ran into some hayseed. He said he'd pay it. One of the villagers? Yep. He was all, thank you for looking after Lord Maxwell, and you saved our spirit. Hmm. That sounds like the Elder. He shouldn't have offered. Alvin, I'll pay you myself. You need to learn how to read your people, Mila. That old man was tickled pink to pay your debt. You'd crush him if you refused. You think so? I know so. Anyway, he told me to wait here for him. That was ages ago, though. Not sure what's holding him up. He's still in the village, right? Most likely. We should find him. Don't forget to take care of anything you want while I'm still around. Once I get my reward, I'm out of here.
Lord Maxwell, and your companions, forgive me for making you wait. Worry not. I hear you've prepared payment for Alvin. Yes, yes. The villagers all pitched in and collected a small fund ages ago. It's the least we can do to help you, Lord Maxwell. You hear farmers, not fighters, after all. I see. Told you. I appreciate everything you've done for me. So my debt is paid. Thank you for everything. Yeah, thanks. It was fun. See you around. And just like that, he's gone. That's a mercenary for you, I suppose. Yeah. Lady Mila! Will you be departing again? Yes. Look after the village. But I would rather accompany you! I wouldn't dare leave your holy care in the hands of this blasphemous, uncouth, shifty, backstabbing stranger! Ivor, tell me again of your duty. My duty? Why, it is to serve you, Lady Mila. And what of your other duty? Uh, to protect the people of Niakara. Those who can't protect themselves. Exactly. And now you see why Jude shall accompany me on this journey. While you fulfill your second duty. But Lady Mila, you wouldn't have lost the great spirits if not for him. No, the fault was mine and mine alone. Indeed, if Jude hadn't been there. I might never have returned safely to Niakara. Thanks. I'm only trying to help. But Lady Mila! The matter is not open to debate. Will you abandon your duty to this village? No. Then let's be off, Jude. I hope they haven't closed off the Sea Haven. So does that mean we'll be passing through Hamil again on the way? Hmm. Yes. That's not a bad idea. Really? Is that okay? It will give us a chance to check up on Rashigal's activity here in Ajul. If we're lucky, we might even find a way to sneak into Fenmont. Gotcha. We'll stop by Hamil then. Safe travels to you, Lord Maxwell. Thank you. Lady Mila! Please return to us safely!
So, that woman is supposed to be Maxwell? And you claim she has lost her powers, Pressa? Yes. If she's already hidden the key somewhere, we could have a problem. The fault is mine. I underestimated them. I apologize. If I'd only known that woman was Maxwell, I would have forced her to reveal the key's whereabouts. No matter. It is in our best interest to let her wander freely for now. Yes. Let her attract the attention of Rashigal, while we quietly put all the pieces in place. Any word from Agria? She says they appear to have decided to construct a new key to replace the one they lost. We cannot ignore that. Zhao, you no longer need to watch over the girl. Join the search for the key. But, sir... If the Rashigal soldiers have withdrawn, you need not monitor her personally. It only makes sense for priorities to change. The data is safe, after all. As you say. Pressa, rendezvous with Agria and infiltrate Fenmont. Oh, so it's truly safe to leave Maxwell alone? Yes. We still have another pawn on the board. I'll have him search for the key as well. Hmm. What is it? I was mulling over our options. What if we can't take a boat straight to Fenmont? Well... I vote against taking the land route from Aljul. Crossing the mountains would be a real pain. Alvin. Alvin! We could head toward Sherrilton from Sapstrath Seahaven. We? What do you mean, we? That handmaid of yours offered me a little job. He wasn't so crazy about his exalted spirit traveling with a pipsqueak for a protector. Plus, the good village folk overpaid me. It'd be a stain on my professional pride if I didn't give them their money's worth. <laughs> Very well. Good to have you back. Yeah, thanks for coming along. Thank Ivor and the villagers, not me. So, what's the plan? First, we head to Hamil to investigate Rashigal's movements. If they're still there, that is. Then you better take this. Keep it handy, just in case. Shall we go? Is it all right to just leave the temporal stones there without putting them back? It's fine. Just keep quiet about it and no one will even know it was us. I don't get it. How could the four great spirits get captured? Fundamentally, the four are masses of mana. The Lance of Kresnik absorbs mana and apparently is able to store it. I never thought that was even possible. Apparently it is. We have to go rescue the four then. I do like the pluck. But this might be a case where a bit of pluck will get you a lot of dead. A pissed off med student's probably not a tall order for the group that bagged the four great spirits. <laughs> Where'd you go after you left the shrine in Niakara? That's a secret for grown-ups. It sounds like you're trying to hide something. Figured that out, did you? Do you want to ask what I was doing? If you don't want to tell me, that's fine. If it's fine with you, then I ain't telling. You don't want to tell me? You don't want to ask? I'm starting to think I'd rather not know. I'm starting to think you're probably right.
Watch out for the rocky outcroppings. They might be monsters in disguise. Unrestricted. I guess so. Okay. Your mind's here! Yes, yes, yes! 
That new spirit art of yours, Mila. I don't think you'll be disappointed. That? How so? Oh, just saying. Oh boy, that handmaid of yours is a piece of work. I don't value his temper, but he is quite skilled. He said he's been serving you for years. 
Yes. He cleans up the shrine, he runs errands, always with a lot of enthusiasm. He buys my clothes and arranges them into outfits. What? Wow. Your handmaid has exquisite taste. Yes. The clothes are very comfortable. I quite like them. This is all your fault, you evil brat! idea what you people put us through? Is this Rashigal's doing? They couldn't find us, so they took it out on the village. Leave here at once! You outsiders are nothing but trouble! She was like a completely different person. Let's see if the villagers know anything about Rashigal's activities. Don't forget, we'll be leaving soon. Gotcha. Thank you.
Hey, can we talk? Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Hi there. We've met once before, right? Oops! Clumsy little guy, aren't ya? This is Tipo. He won't hurt you. And this is Ellie, but you should call her Elise. Nice to meet ya! Uh, <laughs> uh, nice to meet you too. Um, both of you. Um, are you okay? Sure, just thrown for a loop. My name's Jude. Well, hey, Jude! Thanks for helping us out before! Thank you. So what exactly happened? Can you tell me? Well, first, all these meanie men showed up from who knows where, someplace far away. Then the big man whooped them all. Oh, yeah, that guy. But then he wandered away somewhere. Right! That's when the meanie men started bullying the villagers. Is the big guy a buddy of yours, Elise? No. He's a bad guy. He locked Ellie up. We arrived here together in Amnes. But they started chucking rocks at us the second we stepped outside. Those meanies. <sighs> Jude? Oh, sorry. Are the two of you waiting for friends here or something? Friends? We don't have any. Well, you do now. Huh? Oh. Jude is our pal! Hmm. Mind if I tell my friends about you, Elise? Why? I don't like the way the villagers here treat you. I want to ask my friends if there's anything we can do. Sure, why not? Jude's our pal. We can trust him. Right, Ellie? Thanks, Elise. You just wait right here. Oh, you want to come with? There you are. Oh, it's the doll girl. We're finished here. We didn't learn anything useful. It's time to go. Wait, we need to talk. It's about the girl. Villagers do seem to treat her like a pariah. Until that big fellow Zhao returns, I don't see her situation improving. But Elise insists Zhao isn't her friend. He locks her up when he's around, and the villagers treat her horribly when he's away. Sounds like she's stuck between a jerk and a hard place. Unless we bring her with us. Bring her with us? And then what? Have you given this any thought? You do remember my mission. Yeah. <sighs> Very well. She can come. Really? Jude, do you remember what I told you at the falls? Huh? Be yourself and do what you have to do. That's what I said to you. Yeah, I remember. Those words still apply. Can I assume your decision to bring the girl is just another step in your path? 
That it will help you find the answer you seek? Y yes Then tell Elise she's coming. You got it. That was nice of you. She won't affect my mission. If she slows me down or gets herself in trouble, I'll just leave her behind. My intent from the beginning was to do this alone after all. Oh, I guess I haven't properly introduced Elise yet. I'm Elise Ludis. Hello. Well, you look like you'll be a fine lady when you grow up. I'm Alvin. It's nice to meet you. I, um, well... Don't talk to strangers, Elise! Strangers are bad. Why is this stuffed animal talking? Huh? Tipo always talks. Naturally! Oh, so I'm the one who's reacting strangely? Sure looks that way. I'm arguing with the stuffed animal. How unusual. Unusual, she says. Coming from you, Mila?
Excuse me, when is the next ship leaving for Fenmont? I'm afraid the Rashigal government has blockaded the capital and its surrounding regions. That means all scheduled voyages to Fenmont have been cancelled. We apologize for the inconvenience. Are any ships sailing? Sorry, ma'am. Ah, uh, but the route to Sapstrath Seahaven is still open. Would you like a ticket to Sapstrath Seahaven? It'll be some time before any ships set sail for other sea havens. Very well. Please board the ship and await departure. That's not something you see every day. You get your mail by carrier pigeon? Something like that. It's how I keep in touch with someone special from afar. I told her a beautiful woman has appeared in my life. Hey, I didn't know you were married. <laughs> Do I look like the marrying type to you, Mr. Honor Student? Huh? You mean you're not? Who knows? Oh, it looks like we're about to depart. Yeah. Impressive, huh? Just what was that girl doing in the village? Wasn't she being held captive? Maybe it was the other way around. Maybe she was being protected. <laughs> Elise? <laughs> Tifo, look! Well, hey! Check out that water! You'd die if you fell in! She's not a bad girl. It doesn't seem that way. I wonder if we'll find someone who'll take her in. That's your responsibility. You'll have to find someone on your own. Right. I guess she really is mad. Hmm. Isn't she always like that? To be honest, I thought for sure she was gonna shoot down your idea to bring the girl along. Why? She's just so single-minded. I bet she'd kick a puppy if it got in the way of her mission. Come on. Mila isn't that cold-blooded. I wonder. Speaking of her mission, I hear you two had a rough time at that lab in Fenmont. Did Mila tell you about it? She must have swiped something big from there, huh, kid? Some juicy national secret that got the army all riled up? I don't know. You'd have to ask her. Don't play coy, kid. I'll find out eventually. Why not just tell me now? It'll be our little secret. I'm sorry. I really don't know. Well, I guess she really doesn't trust us. No, that's not true. Wait here. I'll go ask her. No, no. If you really don't know about it, then forget I asked. I mean that. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. But... I doubt she'll take kindly to me poking my nose in her business. So, don't tell her I asked, okay? All right, got it. Hey, we better get our stuff. You're right. Looks like we're almost there. I wonder how tight Rashigal security is right now. Mila! Mila's our pal! Oh. <laughs> Looks like everyone's getting along, at least. Don't worry. Everything will work out.
Looks like security's not so tight after all. Soldiers are still patrolling, though. We'll have to be careful. Strange. What changed? They were deploying soldiers across the border to find us before. Maybe they found something more important to do than chase after us. I'm not complaining. Let's avoid the soldiers and head to Fenmont. Hang in there, Elise. It'll just be a little while longer till we reach the city. Then I'm sure we'll find the perfect person to take you in. What? But I... Take us in? What the hey are you talking about? That could have gone better. He just told the little lady he's unloading her on a perfect stranger. That's news to her. No wonder she looks surprised. And he thinks I'm inconsiderate. He's just a kid. Hmm? Nothing. Trust me, the beds are way softer at the inn here than anywhere else. You focus on the strangest things. All right, I'm checking in. Can we really afford to relax like this? Be careful, Elise. A sailor in the Sea Haven has been staring at you. Oh, I didn't notice anything. We might just be overthinking things, but he might know something. Maybe we should chat him up.
So what's keeping this Tipo thing floating in the air like that? Who knows? Sheer talent, I guess.
Looks like our wanted poster is making the rounds at the Sea Haven. Hmm. Does this sort of thing actually work? You tore it down? Yes. But I can't imagine a poster like this will give us any trouble. Do humans have a different sense of aesthetics than I do? Well, anyway, Mila tore it down, so we should be safe here, right? That'll never work. Keep tearing them down, and they'll keep putting them right back up. Mila? It's nothing. Alvin's right. Even with this terrible likeness, we can't afford to take chances. We should move on. All right. Given enough time, they might manage to make a replacement key as well. We need to hurry. Okay, this should do. My Lilium Orb is coming along nicely. She always knows exactly what to pick. How I envy that. Let the Inferno oh, engulf you. Look out! Flamering! Right! Let's do this! Okay! Demonic Chaos! I have your back!
the military checkpoint. They knew things were too easy. What do we do? Well, hey! What's over yonder? That's the deep wood. If we can hike our way through there, we'll come out right near Sherilton. Then our path is clear. It won't be easy going. What about Elise? You knew she'd face risks on this journey. <sighs> I'm fine. Really. I can go with you. Don't argue, you guys! You're pals, remember? Elise. The girl has agreed, so this matter is no longer open to debate. about this area never actually been in the deep wood before but there's a first time for everything Quite a dense forest. Let's try to stick together, okay? What was that? Was it warning us, maybe? Well, Mila certainly seems unfazed. Oh, I see a way through! Hurry up, you two! Great, even the spud is getting gutsy. Let's go.
I'm not so good with these tight passages. Must be this astonishing physique of mine getting in the way. Got reach. It can hit all of us with ease. This could pose a problem. Elise, keep your distance. We can't look after you and fight at the same time. Stay back. Jude! Damn it. I. I can help. You healed us? <laughs> Glad you brought us along now, huh? Our wounds are healed. Did Elise do this? Stay back, it's dangerous. No way, hold on! I can help! Yeah, yeah. Come, yeah. Come! I'll heal you! Stay Take your blade! You ready? A grand victory! That was amazing, Elise. That was exhausting. Imagine. A little girl wielding arts like that. Elise, you saved us. <coughs> it's okay, Elise. There's nothing to be scared of anymore. That's not it. You two need to make up. Pals need to stick together. I promise I won't get in your way again. Honest. You heard the little lady. Now make nice with Jude here, for Elise's sake. Make nice? It's not like I'm angry or anything. That's not how it looks to me! You were getting along better before! I'll do my best, okay? Why do I suddenly feel like the villain here? <laughs> Fine, all is forgiven. And hey, don't you have something to say to Elise? Sorry for making you worry. And thank you. This is some serious friendship stuff right here! Level 99 on the friendship meter! Elise's arts could really help us in a pinch, don't you think so? Agreed. Thank you, Elise. I'm counting on you. Sally forth, pals! What luck. Never expected a channeler like her to be along for the ride.
Closer to adulthood! Tifo! Don't say that so loud. You're embarrassing me. Look out, guys. There are little bugs everywhere. I wonder if Mila gets bitten a lot in that outfit. You didn't know? She swats the bugs away with her hair. Wow, like the tail of a cow! Don't compare my crowning glory to the tail of a cow. Crowning glory? I didn't expect such vanity from the Lord of Spirits. Sylph styled my hair for me. He said, you're in human form, so you need to take care of your appearance. You have the great spirit of wind style your hair? That's incredible! Yes, I'm quite fond of it. If I swing it around quickly, I can distract a foe between attacks. So you do swish it like a cow. Man, are we good or what? Um, yeah. Ouch, the cold shoulder. Better make sure none of us get our clothes stuck.
Everyone okay? Where... <coughs> Where is everybody? The smoke. <coughs> what is it? <coughs> oh. uh, my eyes. This ain't smoke. <coughs> Some kind of spore, more likely. I bet these are smoke shroom spores. Once the spores get in your eyes or nose... <coughs> you can't stop crying. Doesn't bother me. What a bunch of crybabies. is no proper place for Finish that! Go! 
You did well, Elise. Oh no, it was nothing. No need to be modest. Excellent. Stop me.
Thank you. 
Don't worry, I got this. Swim oh, oh, Don't worry. Let the inferno
not over yet. Hey, I'm, I'm here. I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay. Come on. I'm out. We need to conserve our strength. It's over. Quick How unfortunate. Thank you. 